All right, everybody, we got this pump on Bitcoin. Finally, I posted this video two days ago. One last pump, get ready. So this should be no surprise to you. If you watch my videos, if you're in the Discord, you should have caught this pump and we got it. This video is not gonna be about these smaller term time frames. I'm zooming out. We're gonna go over big picture stuff because some of you people just don't understand and you don't get it and it's fine. It's fine if you wanna be in denial about things. If you want smaller term time frame analysis, join the Discord. I post day trades in here. You can ask me your questions in the chat. Uh, post a chart. I got my long term analysis. It's free, linked in the description below. I'll see you in there. So, what, what I'm trying to say here, everyone think, you know, I'm bearish. That's where my stance is. I am bearish on markets and Bitcoin. Everyone apparently is bullish. So, you know, good for you. We'll see what happens. Just because I am bearish here and saying I am looking short does not mean right this second we're going to start dumping. I'm looking short. Yeah. But there's a number of different possibilities that, that can occur when it comes to Elliott wave counts. And I'm going to go over what those are today. They're all the probabilities are saying that this thing is going to go down. All right. So no matter how you dice it in Elliott wave terms. This is a final one, two, three, four, five waves up. So that's a finished wave. And from the top, I have an ABC correction down, zigzag correction. To me, that's just as clear as it gets, right? So from this bottom point here on C, and yes, I'm calling this point the bottom because this right here is not a finished impulse. This is a, this is a zigzag to me. So looking at it as a zigzag from the top, I have another type of flat correction, zigzag flat correction what it looks like to me the measurements fit it looks good so we're gonna call this an ABC and then my original idea here was that we were gonna get another kind of flat to the downside like this where we had an ABC ABC and then an impulse to the downside, and then we're gonna have another ABC and correct up. Now, I will say that count is still in play. Still a valid count. The only issue is we're extended pretty far. We're at the, we're at the two extension, which can happen. You see it with Bitcoin all the time where it extends up to the two, the two, six, one, eight, like these higher Fib targets. Crypto, you see that all the time. So it's not anything out of the ordinary. And that count is still in play where you can get a massive dump, take this liquidity out down here, and then go up for another zigzag and finish out a WXY correction of this entire leg down. And I'm looking at these FIB targets, guys. Pull it all the way up for you. And that like something like this will get you up to the 618. Now that is just one wave count, one wave possibility. I'm going to show you something else here that I'll iron up as well. Now from the bottom, I'm still saying I have an A, B, C. And from that point, I'm saying an A, B, C or a W, X, Y down from there. I don't like it because this is way too short for me compared to this way too short but you then could be getting another a b c to the upside and then from there that's a finished w x y and you would expect a a larger dump i just don't like it because of this this middle area here it's, it's really messing me up Another count that is a possibility is an A, B, all this is C. So this is an entire C wave of the flat. I don't like it because the C wave is gonna be usually sharper, something like that, if it's gonna pump. And this is just taking its time super extended.
Now, as I look at this, you can say that we have finished an ABC all the way down here. And I have an impulse to the upside like that. A correction. And now we're looking to big time impulse to the upside. Maybe have another correction. And then impulse again. Oops, right? That is a possibility. That is a live count. I am not saying it's not. It definitely is. Okay, you gotta understand. I don't care what your trading strategy is. There's, you're not gonna be right 100% of the time and you can't expect to be right 100% of the time. There's always gonna be other outcomes and other possibilities. This is a live count. I do not see it happening, but it's a live count. But all in all, what I'm trying to say is, all you need to know, where I stand, I am looking to correct this wave, and I wanna see it probably come up to this 0.5 fib, or the 618 fib, around 48K or 44K. That's where I wanna see the app, the actual, serious dump happen now it could ha occur sooner it could occur later i'm not i'm not gonna tell you when it's gonna occur but the wave structure is pointing to something like that happening you could also say this is an abc you can also say this is a flat abc one two three four five flat down so you have boom 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 and now you're looking at this maybe you'll get a correction like this and then you'll look, look in one more up like that. So you have a W, X, Y. That's a very live count as well. I'm looking short in this range, guys. I'm going to zoom in and show you. I want to see real quick a flat come down into this area. And then we can come up for one more. There's still room to go. And looking at momentum indicators on the daily time frame, guys, this this thing is thick. This thing's got some girth to it, okay? So I want to see a, a nice dump where it kind of curls this over like that. And then I want to see one last pump that's going to cause us divergence. I want RSI to reset on the daily when we get into this zone. I want to see, oops, when we get into this zone. Wait, where am I? Right here, this zone. And then I want to go up for one more high and get divergence on all the indicators. And then we can dump. All right. I will see you on the Discord. Live streams are happening. First live streams tomorrow. Um, and then frequent live streams from there. Live charting, answering all your questions. I'll see you in there. Thanks for watching the video. I love you all. Bye.